Hey, it's Deepam from Write Your Way In. And today I'm offering not so much a prompt as a little glimpse of my own process for this memoir that I'm writing. Um, it's a difficult memoir. Uh, I've had so many reasons not to keep writing it that I turn to a couple of books to help me, and they have greatly. One of them is a book called Writing Hard Stories, and the other one is a book by Mary Carr called um, The Art of Memoir, or The Art of Writing Memoir. And um, they've been very helpful, very, very helpful in uh, to tackling some of the aspects of writing a memoir, aspects like chronology, memory, uh, structure, um, yeah, memory is not chronological, so, and memory is also not linear, it jumps around. So I was feeling, uh, I was finding all kinds of other things to do besides write the memoir because it just seemed too daunting. So I took heart from those two uh, books and also from a uh, presentation that Alyssa York did a number of years ago for the writers community of Simcoe County where she shared with us her process her writing and editing process for the wonderful books fa wonderful books sorry fauna um, where she had uh, typed it out in eight point or printed it out in eight point font cut it and taped it together and had a big roll that she just released down to show us that the uh, entire novel was in a scroll, if you will. And uh, that was uh, inspiring, different approach, so that she could see it, of course. And then uh, a few years before that, I think, uh, Robert Wiersma had done a presentation at the Writers' Community of Durham County, and he showed us his storyboard uh, for um, a novel that he had written. So I used both of those ideas. I printed out my, the current chapters and scenes from the memoir I'm writing, which is the working title is The Soft Ones. Um, I printed it out in eight point font and cut it all up into little pieces and there it is. So, and then I've used push pins. It's very exciting. I've never done this before. I'm a bit of a pantser. So to plot this out is, uh, is a new and exciting adventure. So the uh, red pins indicate the storyline, the actual story that I'm telling. Uh, the white ones are rumination, um, thoughts about, ideas, the meta voice, if you will. And the blue ones are backstory. The yellow ones are future, like what happened or what has happened since, so kind of like present time. And... Um, the green ones are, uh, I need some more attention. I've just noticed that I need some more attention uh, details in there. So I just want to share that with you because I think it's really fun. And um, maybe you can um, take some inspiration from that process because now I feel like uh, I can see it all and not scrolling through on the computer. Because even in Scrivener, I find that uh, I, I get lost in the setup. Here, here it is. It's all right there. I can have a look. I can see what's been written. I can see where it's redundant. Ah, so exciting. Anyway, uh, happy writing to you all and whatever process you find helpful, it'd be great to see in the comments below. Happy writing.